Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be answering, well debunking, whatever you want to call it, vegan misconceptions and yeah, I'm going to be answering some of them, explaining the answers to some of them, I don't really know how you, debunking them I suppose. So yeah, let's get on to vegan misconception number one. Dairy doesn't hurt the animal. Now, where do we start with this? Dairy does hurt the animal emotionally and physically physically like just constantly being impregnated and then their milk sucked out of them and emotionally because their babies are taken away in the process and it does hurt the animal because it also leads to murder so milk is murder because once the cow um can't you know produce milk or whatever anymore they just go straight to slaughterhouse so so yeah milk is murder they're linked both the industries Emotionally and physically, milk does hurt the animal. Number two, veganism is too expensive. Now, this is a common misconception. People think, oh, it's too expensive to eat and live vegan. It's not. Beans and rice and sauces are like the cheapest things. On, but rice is the cheapest thing to buy. And it's, yeah, it's not expensive at all. You just have to make more things. Well, I suppose if you're buying lots of processed foods which are expensive anyway for non-vegans as well then yeah it can be expensive or if you're going out to eat all the time then it'd be expensive but just rice and beans and chickpeas and it's not expensive at all okay number three vegans are malnourished that's not true because well i mean it depends it depends but then anyone anybody can be malnourished even non-vegans but you can get vitamins as a vegan, like B12. Every vegan needs to have a supplement of B12. Um, omega-3, vegan omega-3 supplements, zinc. There's so many things you can take. You can even take a multivitamin just so that you don't have to get loads of different ones. But yeah, it's um, no. Anyone in the world can be malnourished if you don't eat the right things, plan your diet correctly. So, no. That's not necessarily true. Number four. Vegans think they are superior to others. I don't think that's true either. Um, it obviously depends on who you are, but are vegans superior? Well, no, I'm joking. Um, no, I don't think anyone thinks that, but some people do, and that's a personal thing, I suppose. Depends on your personality and who you are, I suppose. But yeah. Uh, that's not true either. This also links to vegans are too preachy. Now, I don't, I don't think vegans are. I think every vegan has the right to express what is going on and let people know because of how horrific it is. And I feel like if you feel a bit like guilty, that's why you want them to stop then that's because your heart is telling you something about what they're saying and how you believe that it's true if that makes sense does that make sense what i'm saying no i don't think vegans are too preachy like some vegans don't they just do their own thing and they don't you know tell others about it but some vegans do and i think it's important to share the knowledge you learn and what's going on in the world so other people can make an informed decision as well so yeah again it depends on who you are as a person. Vegans kill more than crop deaths. No, that's not true. Either. People do get this wrong, wrong a lot. Um, no, because the... So imagine this, right? We're growing wheat or plants. Most of those plants have to be fed to the animals, which is how you get your food. Um, and so the little portion that us vegans just have it directly is much less than the amount that you have to give to the animals to feed the animals. So, if anything, you're the ones killing more with the crop deaths because all of those plants have to feed the animals which you are consuming. So yeah, that sums it up. Vegans kill bees. Now, this is one that everyone always says about for avocados and almonds. Vegans don't have honey anyway because of how they're treated. Their wings get chopped off, like the queen bee's wings. They're just horrible. This is a horrible industry. Um, and the bees that get killed with the avocados, 
are honeybees, which vegans have already boycotted already. And it's just them being transported and we don't buy honey. We don't, you know, support the honey industry. So they're not, vegans aren't killing bees. Next one is plants feel pain. Plants don't feel pain. They've got no nervous system. Like they might, how can I put this? They might be aware of their surroundings, but they, it's not somebody inside. There's no soul, they can't see things, they don't feel any pain, they don't scream in pain like animals do. There's nothing, they, you know, they're just, they're just living things, but they're, they've got no nervous system, they don't feel any pain. There's not a person inside of them, so they don't feel pain. And there's lots of science behind it as well if you want to Google it. All you eat is salad and there is nothing to eat. No, <laughs> vegans don't just eat salad. That's not. I mean, vegans do eat salad. Like, don't get me wrong. But that's not the only thing we eat. Now, this is something people always say. Oh, are you eating your lettuce? No, no, not actually. There's so many things you can buy. Whatever your favourite food is right now, you can get vegan in the shops. If you, if your favourite thing is a burger, you can get a vegan burger that tastes the same. If your favourite thing is pizza, you can get a vegan pizza. People. Vegans aren't just sitting there munching on their lettuce. Okay, so get that out of your head because that's not true. Then you can literally have anything as a vegan. Any dish that you can think of, you can make vegan. So, yeah, there's no missing out at all. There's lots to eat. Next one is that it says, I can't live without cheese. Well, the reason you feel like you can't live without cheese is because there is a ingredient in cheese which is called casein which is addictive which is what that is in the cheese which makes a baby cow go back to the mother cow for more milk but because the baby cow's been taken away and we can well non-vegans are consuming the milk it has casein in it which is addictive which makes you want to you know eat more cheese you can live without cheese and i think if you found out what happens for you to get that cheese i think you'd be rather traumatized and i don't think you'd go near cheese again um but yeah, there's stuff in milk as well, like pus, blood, hormones and stress and everything that comes with it. So yeah, I think if you did a bit of research and you found out about what happens in the dairy industry, I think you'd be able to say that you can live without cheese. The next one is humans are carnivores. No, we are not. We don't have any claws. We've got our hands that look like they're ready to kill something. We don't have canines. Um, there's nothing about us that makes us like used to attack um, animals for food. And yeah, we are actually herbivores. Plants and things are what we would usually eat anyway. So that's not true. We don't have anything to use. Like we're not like lions with claws and big teeth. So we are not carnivores. Now this is one, this one that I was about to say is one that is commonly used and said to me, veganism and vegetarianism is the same. It is not. People do get mixed up. Um, vegetarian is you don't consume meat or fish and veganism is you don't consume any animal products that cause harm to, other, to the animals. Um, so yeah, vegetarianism, no meat and fish. Veganism, no animal products altogether. So yeah. Veganism only applies to food. That is not true. So veganism is a lifestyle to reduce harm and torture to animals. So that includes you don't buy leather, certain glues and shoes, headphones, certain things in headphones like leather, clothing, just depends. Um, so like, what's a, like fur, clothing, things like that. Wool, no wool in clothes. Veganism is a lifestyle and yeah. It is impossible to be vegan and animal products are in everything. I think you'd be rather surprised if you went vegan to find out some of the things you're already eating is vegan already. Like chips. <laughs> chips are vegan. Well, some actually. Depends if they're cooked in the same oil if you're in a restaurant or whatever. But, um, yeah, I think you'd be rather surprised if you did a bit of research and you've seen what you're actually eating. 
and you realize some of the things you're already eating are already vegan. So yeah. Now that is the end of the misconceptions. We've got a couple of questions. Where do you get your protein? I get my protein from beans, like chickpeas. Basically, I get my protein from where your protein gets theirs. Plants. Animals, which you eat for your protein, get its protein from plants, and I'm just going directly and getting them from plants. Why do vegans want to recreate taste? Now, this is a common one. Vegans don't don't go vegan because they don't like the taste. They just don't like what they are, what's the word, what they are contributing to. Vegans don't like what's going on to the animals. They don't choose to go vegan because they don't like the food. So that's why we recreate vegan food which tastes the same so that you're not causing torture and people like you can go vegan and have a burger that tastes the same but no torture, no harm involved. Yeah. That is it for today's video. I've answered all the misconceptions and a few questions. So I hope you've all enjoyed, learned something new. If you did, smash that like button and hit subscribe. Turn the notification bell and share with your friends. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Who knows what I'll be doing. I'll keep you updated. And yeah, have a good day. Peace out. Veganism is too expensive. Have I done this one? Oh, I've done this one. Never mind. I just said, no, I want to do that. Veganism, no meat and fish. I mean, vegetarianism. <laughs> oh, what's the light gone like this? Hello? Hold on, let me fix this. What has happened here? I'm confused. Why is the lighting gone? <laughs> That's better. Is it? Vegans kill more in crop deaths. Crop, crop deaths. Ah, ah ha. There we go. The lighting's coming back. Okay, right.